the P I N K Y show. Hey, you know P G P I N K Y, and I'm so fun. And today, P Panthers, it's another episode of Mo Shows, Mo Shows, Mo Shows. Now. Today, Pink Panthers, we have a special guest. Introduce yourself. Hi. Don't start that crowd. Don't start that crowd. What's your name? God dang it. Don't start that crowd. Do not start that crib, okay? Do not start that crib, okay? Do not start that crib, okay? What is your name? Ryan. Ryan, a.k.a. Ryan, the magnificent bowling kid, okay? Oh, and God. also, a.k.a. my brother Ryan, okay? Now. On a serious note, today episode of Mo Shows, we're going to talk about 13 reasons why. Now, you guys are probably like, oh Lord, we're talking about 13 reasons why. But yes, we're talking about 13 reasons why. Because, Ryan, I don't know about you, but I need to get something off my chest. Okay? Ask me what I need to get off my chest. Why you need to get off your chest? I need to get off. Why are they have? Why do they have three seasons? Let me know now. Why does Thirteen Reasons Why have three seasons? Please let me know that right now. Why does this show have th three? Th Honestly, this show really should have been a movie because just, 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 just think about it. Why does this show have three seasons? Like, my thing is, this show was about Hannah, ba Hannah Baker's death, okay? She died, like, no, she died, see, really, the show is about her death, okay? Which was season one. Why did they feel like they had to make season two and season three? If the main character died, and it's about her death, why do y'all need to have season two and th season three? Like, I honestly should have made this into a movie and just let it go. But they're expanding it to two other seasons. Okay, so let's get into it. So, talk about the first season the yeah, we're going to talk about all of the seasons, okay? Now, well, um, I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch season three. I only watched the first episode. No offense. It was, it was kind of boring. I kind of wanted to get to the point, like... You know, but before we talk about season three, because Ryan saw it, I didn't see it. But we, before we talk about season three, we're going to talk about season one, and then season two, then season three. Okay, so let's start with season one. First of all, what do you uh, what do you uh, rate season one? I like Not from one to ten. I like season one. I'll give it six, seven, or eight. But season two and season three, I'll give it like a four or a three. Okay, season one. Okay, let me tell you something. The first season was really good. Like, you know, first of all, it was sad because, you know, she, uh, Hannah Baker, she committed suicide. It was very sad because suicide is not a joke, and that's really sad that she took her own life. Um, and it was a good show as far as, like, like wow, like, good plot. It's, it's, um... It was very detailed. It was very creative because, you know, she, you know, made a tape and she wanted everybody to hear it. But really, the main person they really, like, reflected on who heard it was Clay. You know, she did it in 13 tapes, like, 13 reasons why. Like, it was very creative, you know, and sad at the same time. And it kind of shows you who all knew her, who all was, you know, a part of her death. Like, why did... You know, she did the things that she did. Like, it gave you, like, a reason, you know, of everything. So, season one was very good. Season two, no offense. Again, why did they make a season two? Um, She was technically on the show, but she was, like, a ghost. So, yeah, it was one of them. You know, then, I guess, Clay said goodbye to her season two. Then she, wait, was she in season three? No. No, she wasn't in season three, but somebody else died in season three. But let's talk about, let's break, let's break it down season one again, okay? So, season one, the characters, you have Hannah, Clay, Jessica, um, what's the guy's name? Justin. Justin and who else? Courtney, Mark, 
Marcus, Bryce, mm -hmm. um, what was his name? Clay Mom, Clay Dad. Austin Butler's character. What was his name? Um, um, uh, that's all I can think of right now. Yeah, like, it was many, uh, characters, but, you know, like I said, season one was really kind of, in a way, it was kind of preparing you for her death, like, like, the day, the episode that she died, it was kind of preparing you for that, um, uh, the first episode, the first tape was about her and Justin's relationship, um, they wasn't together, but they went out on a date, and they kissed, but, um, uh, did he tell people that he, uh, had sex with her? No, he sent it out a photo of Hannah's underwear. Yeah, he said, yeah, he took a pic, he sent out a photo to everybody of her panties, and, yeah, so they kind of led to believe, like, oh, did you sleep with her, and, but they didn't sleep together. They just kissed and stuff like that. Then the second tape. I don't know who the second tape. I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I've seen, uh, seen like the first season. Wait. It was season. about um, Jesse's girlfriend. Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. Because Hannah, Jessica, and the other guy. What was his name? Alex. Alex. So uh, Hannah, Jessica, and Alex. They were like BFFs and, you know... Uh, I think, yeah, they were BFFs until one night. Um, they were, like, studying, and then they all wanted to kiss each other or something like that. I don't know why the heck they decided to do that. So, I think, at first, Hannah kissed Alex, then Hannah kissed Jessica, then Jessica kissed Alex. But Jessica and Alex ended up dating, but I think Hannah felt some type of way. Because I really thought, I really felt like Hannah thought... Alex liked her, but in reality, he liked Jessica, so him and Jessica started dating. Um, him and Jessica was singing around, didn't want to tell Hannah, but common sense was kind of, like, it, they was kind of being obvious that they were dating, you know, and Hannah was kind of upset about it, because she was like, this is going to ruin our friendship, this is that, the third, and yeah, and they kind of became, oh, uh, ooh, sorry, you guys, sorry, but they kind of, uh, stopped being friends after that. And then, who else? Then they was talking about Jessica, and what was that girl named? Allison? Yeah. The Asian girl, what was her name? Uh, Courtney. Courtney. So then, uh, her and Courtney was cool, but then uh, Courtney was at her house, and Courtney, you know, kissed her. You know, uh, Courtney was a lesbian, but she didn't want nobody to know that she was a lesbian. So Jessica kind of like, kept her secret for her from kept her secret for her and then wh who was the photograph who took pictures of her uh, tyler tyler uh he was kind of stalking her taking pictures of her um yeah then bryce this was so sad what bryce did it was so wrong so bryce was kind of a douchebag he was kind of a douchebag character um she went to his house, which I don't know why she went to his house. That was kind of dumb on her part. No offense, but uh, whew. she went to uh, um, Bryce's house, and he ended up raping her in the jacuzzi. That was so sad. Um, and then Bryce, before he raped Hannah, he also raped Jessica. Yeah. Yeah, he raped Jessica by, oh, and also this season, the first season, Jessica and Justin dated. Um, their relationship was kind of toxic. I felt like she was low-key an alcoholic, uh, because she drunk a lot. Um, Jessica had a lot of inner demons that she was dealing with, and, you know, dating Justin, you know, Justin was, like, on a, uh, football team, he was popular, uh, this is at a third. I felt like they were, they loved each other, but it was very toxic. Because, you know, because their reputation was on the line. But Bryce ended up being drunk and sleep and raping Jessica. And did Justin know about it? Yeah. Or 
and himself, he didn't do nothing. Justin, you know that your best friend, you found out that your best friend raped your girlfriend, and you're not going to do anything about it. What in the world? What in the heck? You're not going to do nothing, do nothing, Justin, you should have punched me in the face, like, for real though, Ryan, if that happened, if you find out that your best friend raped your girlfriend, what are you going to do? I would get him. Thank you, thank you, square up, I would be, he would, I, like, if I was here, I would be like, yo, you need to square up right now, because I'm about to get you, we about to fight, square up right now, we about to fight, okay? Like, that was too much. And what else happened? Uh, Zach. Who is Zach? Oh, the, uh, the athlete. Yeah, so, Zach liked, uh, Jessica, but I feel like he kind of let people get into his head. He was kind of being a jerk, like, when it came to his friends. But then when it came to, uh, whew. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to yarn, but... Um, you know, uh, just, no, not, what's it, Zach? Is he like when Zach was with his friends, when he's with his friends, you know, he's listening to them. He's kind of being a follower, being a jerk to, Je uh, being a jerk to, uh, Hannah. Hannah. But then when him and Hannah are by themselves, he's like romantic, you know, this is that the third. And didn't she lose her virginity to him? Yeah. Yeah, they, no, they lost their virginity to each other, and he treated her like crap. So, you know, typical boy. And then it also talked about Hannah and Clay. Now, the thing with Hannah and Clay was Clay had a crush on her, and I think Hannah had a crush on Clay too, but I think he was just too good for her. Like, I feel like she didn't want to be with somebody else because she probably was like, okay, this is too good to be true. Because clearly every time I meet somebody, they always do me wrong. Or every time I feel like I meet the right guy, they do me wrong. This is that and the third. So I feel like her and Clay was just this close of getting together. And then, she you know, yeah, then she killed herself because she couldn't take it anymore. But yeah, then, you know, because her and Clay, uh, they will be a good couple. Yeah, and they worked at the movie theater. That's yeah, they worked at the movie theater together, and they had a lot of things in common. They either, they almost slept together. Oh, and also when Bryce raped Jessica, Hannah was in the closet, um, watching. She couldn't do anything because why was she in the closet? Because I think her and Clay was in the room, and then Clay left, and then Hannah heard somebody coming, and then she hid in the closet, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, was that it on season one? Uh, oh, the principal. Now, the principal was trying to help Hannah. You know, he was trying to counsel her, but I guess he couldn't get through to her. He was the last reason why she died, I think. Yeah, he was the last reason why she died, so... Cause I think he wasn't, he couldn't do anything about it or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Now season two, you can talk about season two. Cause I keep on yarning and oh my God, it's pissing me off. Um, Hannah's mom, she wanted justice mm -hmm. about Hannah. So I think she wanted the trial. Yeah. And then later in the season, she found out that her daughter Hannah made tapes of why she killed herself. Mm-hmm. And um, then Clay, she keep, he keeps um, seeing Hannah as a ghost. Mm -hmm. And then Justin, he um, was homeless. And so he lived with Clay and his family. Mm -hmm. And Clay, he wanted to kill himself, but he didn't. Yeah. And um, That was so sad. And, um, and, and Justin and Jessica, they broke up. And, um, oh, what was that girl name? You remember when her and Han, um, uh, she hit a stop sign or something, and then, uh. Jeff, Jeff. That was her name, Jeff? No, it was a guy. No, you remember that girl? Uh, it was a black girl. She, uh, she ran a stop sign or something, and then she ended up leaving, and Hannah was saying, oh, she doesn't think it's a good idea if they leave. I don't know what her name was, but yeah, she was helping uh, Justin um, 
Cause Jesse was on high, he was on drugs and stuff. So she was trying to help him. Um, what do you call that when you're an addict and you're trying to get the drugs out your body? What do you call that? Oh, you try to get the drugs out your body. Uh, it's not overdose. Uh, dang, what is that called? You're trying to get the the drugs out your body. Uh, god dang, what is it called? No, it's not called rehab. I don't know. You gotta know what I'm talking about. You know how, like, when, you know, if you on drugs, you're trying to get the, the drugs out your body, uh, detox. She was trying to help him detox. Detox. That. Yeah, detox is when you try to get, like, the alcohol, and you try to get the drugs out your system. Oh. And you're detoxing. Yeah. So the girl was trying to help Justin detox, because, like he said, Justin didn't have nowhere to go, so he ended up living living with Clay. Um, but basically, season two, they were going to trial. Uh, Bryce was guilty because you know Bryce raped Hannah, and he raped and he uh, raped Jessica, and they wanted justice behind it. But he ended up being not guilty, or was he guilty? No, he was not guilty, right? And then he had a girlfriend. Technically, he raped her, but she was so goddamn dumb that. You know. And she was pregnant as a last Yeah. Episode. Did she have the baby? Or did no, she? No. I don't think so. She didn't have the baby, yeah. And, um. Alex, uh, later in the, in the last episode, he tried to shoot to school. That wasn't Alex. That was Tyler. Oh, Tyler, yeah. Yeah, because Tyler, he went somewhere and then he came back. And then, you know, he would, he changed. He was trying to be a better person. Then these guys jumped him in the restroom, and they, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what they did, because it was pretty graphic, but, uh, yeah, so, um, he wanted to, he, uh, tried to bring a lot of guns to the school, and to try to shoot up the school, but Clay stopped him, and plus, Jessica was back together with Alex, but her and, uh, Justin slept together, so, yeah, something else happened. Yeah, and then Clay would say goodbye to Hannah. You know, this is at a third. Because was it like her awake or her funeral? Yeah. Yeah, that everybody was at. So, yeah. But the moral of the story, everybody felt remorseful of Hannah's death. Because, you know, a lot of people had something to do with why she killed herself. But, honestly, no offense. I feel like you could kind of blame people about why you kill yourself but i feel like hannah was really lonely she was really depressed she was really going through something that i felt like she couldn't she couldn't get through with herself i felt like she tried to reach out for help but either nobody wanted to help her or they just didn't know how to help her and then you know she killed herself but it was just Really, really sad. And season three, like I said, I don't understand why they made a season three. I really feel like they should have just made a movie out of this and just kept it moving. Like, I didn't understand why they need to make a season two with season three. Like, for what? You know? So, explain to what season three was about. Because I'm not going to, I only watched one episode and I was done. I didn't, I need to go back and watch it, but it just so goddamn boring. It's like, I don't even know. Well, Bryce Walker died in this season. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, the cops were investigating Tyler because they found out that there was a sh- someone was trying to shoot up the school and they were trying to find Tyler. And everyone was helping Tyler. And um, there was this new girl. She uh, The police is investigating everyone to see who killed Bryce. Mm-hmm. And should we tell him who killed him? Yeah, you can tell uh, it was Alex and Jessica. They killed Bryce. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, it was... Oh, yeah, and also, sorry, sorry, so sorry. Also, season two, uh, Bryce transferred. He was going to transfer school, and, um, uh, wasn't he, like, on house arrest or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but he transferred school, so I don't think at this time he transferred school yet, but I'm sorry. Keep going. So Alex said, uh, um, Alex and Jessica, they killed him. Oh, really, man. Alex killed him. Jessica, she was just, she didn't do yeah, she, she was just there. So. 
Oh, um, Alex and Jessica, they broke up. Mm-hmm. Justin and Jess Justin and Jessica, they got back together. Mm-hmm. You know. Which honestly I mean, I kinda like Jessica with both of them, but like I said, Jessica and Justin's relationship was toxic. And Jessica and Alex, I mean, they were kinda like that. That, you know, that goody two she relates. She's like, oh, I love you. You love me. And her and Justin, she went through a world spin with Justin. So, yeah, but, you know. And since just Clay and his family adopted Justin in season two, that now Justin is living with Clay and his family in season three. Mm-hmm. And, um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So... Yeah, I mean, I just feel like... Oh, oh, and the new girl and Bryce, they dated. Yeah, because for some odd reason, she knew um Bryce, you know, before she went to the school. But, yeah. But, honestly, you guys, like I said, I don't think they should uh, keep going with, these, with this show. I just feel like, I know they're trying to have awareness for mental health. And all that. But they really should have just made a movie about this and call it a day. Because I don't understand why they keep on making a season after season after season. And then Hannah's not even on season three. So it's kind of like, what was the point? And the show was about her, you know? And Clay really liked her. He really wanted to be with Hannah. But like I said, it was too late, you know? But I feel like she liked it too. But yeah, so. Was that it? Can you think of anything else? Okay, well... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Montgomery, he died. Montgomery? Who's Montgomery? He's the one that did the graphic thing in season two to Tyler. Oh, really? Mm. Mm. Interesting. I thought you were talking about the principal. I was like, oh my god, he died? I thought you were talking about the principal. But yeah. So, yeah, guys. Do I think you should watch the show? Yeah, to have your own opinion about it. Um, Out of one to ten, honestly... Season one, out of all the seasons, season one was the best. So season one gets a 10. Season two, uh, that gets like a six or a seven. Season three, I didn't watch season three. So, Ryan, what you get a rate of season three? A five. So, yeah. So, yeah. But I think you should watch the show to make your own opinion about it. Oh, um, and Selena Gomez, she's one of the executive producers she on it. Sung a, she sang a song for the show. Yeah, she sang uh, Back to You. That was like yeah. for season two, right? No, it wasn't season one. It was season two. She sang a show for uh the show because she's the executive producer. But I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys watch. Uh, the I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like or dislike, thumbs up or thumbs down, comment, please. Please be paid there. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can know when my next video is going to be here. When you hit the subscribe button, please hit the post notification bell because it's ring a ding a ding. 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 Ding ding. Ding, ding. Okay. And follow me on Facebook at Pinky's Entertainment. Follow me on Instagram at Pinky's Entertainment. Follow me on the other Instagram at The Pinky Show. Okay. <laughs> you guys know my saying. Let's smile. Be yourself. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay. That's me in the background. And I put you on black. This is Pinky. P I N K Y. And I'm so food. Say bye, Ryan. Bye. This is your girl Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, and I'm...